morning. Holy jumping. Yeah, turning out to be a gorgeous morning here. The sun's just, well, not even coming up, just the light's coming up over there. Uh, the sun hasn't come on yet, but a perfectly clear sky. I don't see a single cloud anywhere. Uh, yeah, and we're uh, in Colorado. Yes, sir. We're uh, 238 miles from Denver. Yeah. So and that's where we're going to be fueling at the pilot. But we're going to stop beforehand at the TA and we got to pick up change. I just got off the phone with uh, Breakdown. And that's who we have to go through road maintenance to pick up our uh, uh, chains. I got to pick up six singles, man. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put them. There's no freaking chain rack on this truck. Anyway, when I get back to Kitchener, I'm going to really push hard to get a chain rack put on. Because it's going to be like a while before they trade this truck in anyways. They can always pull the chain rack off. But really, if I'm going to run out here, I mean, I don't want to be sitting here with freaking chains inside my sleeper. Anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll show you too. There you go. Alrighty, we're just coming by Lyman. Colorado. We're going to make a pit stop here at the TA on the left there, as you can see the sign. we got to go in and get ourselves some tire chains. Hopefully they'll have some. And we're hoping. I'm going to guess we've got to go by the shop. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I'm going to guess. Sure, if we go to the store or the shop, I'm pretty sure the service desk that's where we're gonna go. Yeah, because from there they can at least do a direct PO, which is a good thing, and I don't have to pay for it. Come on, Palmer! Today, man! Let's go! Jeez! It's only a four wheeler, run his ass over! Oops, I didn't say that, did I? Alrighty, so we got our chains. Holy frig, not cheap. They had me get eight singles. It's like four bags of chains. It's like I thought it was bad enough when they wanted me to get three bags, like six of them, but freaking eight. Holy frig, man. Tuna. F nah, you're probably not going to be able to see it. 470 freaking dollars. Holy crap. It was like 439 before tax, $30 a tax here in Colorado. Anyway, if it looks like the truck is leaning to the right, it's because of all them freaking chains in there. So, anyway, we're out of here. We're heading down the road some more. Yes, sir. Hey, boys and girls. And germs and worms. Yeah. All right. So, now we're getting there. We're going to probably end the day in, well, probably. That's what the, the plan is, is to end the day in Casper, Wyoming. Uh, whether we make it or not, I don't know. That freaking guy pulling his camp shack here just crawling up my ass now. I don't know why he all of a sudden decided to come up with a gust of speed here, but uh, we'll pull away from him. He's heavy. So, yeah, to see me straight off topic again. So, guys, you know, we got this is... When you come into a state like Wyoming and, you know, Montana and states where things are just few and far between, you really, really, really got to be on the ball with your trip planning. Uh, you know, you don't want to, just because you have 11 hours available to you, doesn't mean you're going to drive those 11 hours. You know, you come into a state like this, you have to pretty much, uh, you know, plan it, your, your trip basically to the truck stops and where you're going to be able to stop because you know even these these parking areas these pullouts that they have you know there's no facilities so i mean uh, so like i said casper is uh, there's a couple of truck stops there that's where we're planning to stop and uh, well we'll see we'll hope hopefully we'll be okay we'll find out because there's not a whole lot after that all righty let's find out to see if we can find a parking spot huh? Optimistic here. I don't think we're gonna find one. It's looking pretty damn full. Looks like a freaking small, uh, small place. Oh, I think we're gonna be hard pressed. 
pressed for a parking spot. Oh, it's just a little dinky truck stop. Alrighty, it is dinner time. Now, in the picture, it looks like that. In reality, it looks like that. I guess it's fairly close. But it doesn't really matter when it ends up in the stomach, right? Alright, that's it for today. We're in Casper, Wyoming. And we've called it quits for the night. I didn't want to take a chance of going further because you just never know. This is a small-ass truck stop. Yeah, there was one about five miles back. Uh, but going forward, I don't, uh, I don't know the road that well or well enough. I know there's a truck stop probably about 70 miles further north, but, uh, I didn't want to take a chance. So, cause I had like an hour and a half left. I could have driven today, but like I said, didn't want to take a chance. So there you go. Alrighty. Talk to you later.